In other news, National Dollar Committee member Eugene Wamalwa insists that he will not sign the report by the committee. Wamalwa says that the report does not address the most pressing needs of Kenyans, key among them lowering the high cost of living. Speaking during the launch of the Western Jurist Forum strategic plan here in Nairobi, Wamalwa said that the Kenya Kwanzaa government has to cooperate with the opposition to create an avenue for the amendment of the report. During the event, leaders called for the unity of leaders in the western region. We have incorporated tech in the way we do our things and we are now institutionalizing Western Jurist Forum so that it can be based on sound governance and institutional frameworks. So we are advocating for that. We are encouraging all lawyers, young seniors to partner to come in place and support this organization or this society. The Western Jurist Forum's growth is remarkable. Now it's crucial to establish ethical and sound institutional frameworks that will ensure WJF continues to thrive. We are very clear that uh, the NADCO process and the outcome was not satisfactory. It did not meet the main challenge facing every Kenyan, which is the cost of living. And it was because of that that I decided I would not sign the report. And when we presented it to our principal, he was very clear that the report is disappointing, that it is incomplete. And as a lawyer, I could not sign something that is incomplete, that, is, uh, that goes against the grain of many Kenyans.